Uh, we're going to get into the recovery quote of the day, and it goes like this. It's not that some people have willpower and some don't. It's that some people are ready to change and others are not. I wanted to talk to you a, a moment about willpower. Um, I heard this quote uh, quite a while ago, but uh, it said that if you give God your will, he gives you his power. And so when we think about willpower and that concept, we get an idea of what it means to us as Christian men inside of recovery. Now, thinking that we could pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and, and just like accomplish life and, 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 and have the talent, skills, and resources to be successful in all of these different things, what we fail to understand is the source. And that is God is the one who equips us. He is the one that makes us able and he is the one that makes us ready. And so this idea of willpower, if we give God our will, he gives us his power, is the ultimate powerful statement. Jesus said this in the Garden, garden of the Gethsemane. Uh, when he knew that he was going to face the cross, he was going to face all of this pain and that he was going to die for the sins of humanity. He said uh, that he desired to have this cup pass from him, <laughs> right? He looked at the cup. He looked at the suffering and says, you know what? I don't particularly want to drink this, right? And he said, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Now, how many times in life do we come to a situation where we don't really want to partake in? Like there's a cup that comes our way, a cup of suffering, a cup of, a cup of affliction, a cup of uh, misunderstanding. And it's like, no, you know, I'm going to pass. I don't want to drink that. But uh, what Jesus taught us was this ultimate uh, surrender. And that is this, is that if we give God our will, he gives us his power. And I think as Christians, we need to rise above living on our own discipline and our own willpower. And that is coming to the ends of, of ourselves and of our flesh and saying, you know what, I, I don't particularly have what it takes to live this awesome, abundant life, but I'm willing to surrender myself to get the power necessary to begin to walk out this amazing life that God has for me. And that is a powerful reality. You know, some people are not ready to change and some people are. Uh, if you're relapsing every weekend, you're probably not ready to change, right? And that's just the truth of the matter. And the sooner that you, you look at that reality and face the truth, uh, it, it's better off for you to begin to grow and to make step forward. Um, but some people are just not willing to change. And I thoroughly believe that disgust is the biggest motivating power to change. If you get disgusted enough about a certain uh, situation in your life, it is going to motivate you to action. And that is if there's an area of inside of your marriage that isn't quite right, if it builds enough disgust and dissatisfaction within you, it's going to motivate you to begin to make the steps necessary to change that. If there is disgust inside of your body and the way you've been managing your health and what you've been eating and, and uh, this, that, and the other thing, then it's going to build a sense of disgust and dissatisfaction to the point where you're going to experience change. Here's the danger, though. And we know it as these loving, codependent, coddly people that just want to love people to death is that we try to protect them from that disgust, right? We see people in misery. We see people in their disgust and in their funk and in the consequences of their behavior, right? And we see them and we want to rescue them out of the disgust. And what that means is we want to cushion their bottom. We want to make it uh, so we come to the rescue and so we so we save them and, and so we can give it ourselves a pat on the back and so we can feel good about ourselves. But the reality is, is that we are, we're, we're doing them a great disservice. And what we're doing is we're, we're taking away the disgust that it was meant to motivate them to change. The reality is, is if they stew inside of their mess for a good period of time, it could possibly build up the, the disgust that is necessary for change and forward action. But we want to be the savior. We want to come and rescue. And we're doing them a great disservice. Let reality 
hit people. Let them feel the pain and the consequences of their decisions. And just maybe the disgust will get to a level where it's intolerable and change will begin to take place. Uh, that is a powerful reality.